Five reasons why I still use the 5DSR in 2020. Actually, that is really good. That is a legit cup of coffee. Mm. As much as I just want to sit here and drink coffee all day. The amazing thing about this camera is it is 50 megapixels. You can shoot amazing photos on the run and crop in like crazy. Um, here, take a look at this shot right here. We were in a car driving, and the amazing thing about this is as we're moving, I'm literally trying to stick my hand out the window and shoot with whatever lens is on there because you're just trying to capture a moment, right? When I captured this shot, I'm thinking to myself, ah, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I can crop it later in post. You can either shoot a full shot and crop it or you can actually shoot in a cropped mode and get some extra reach um, out of your full frame lenses. Another thing I like about this camera is it has, I won't say it has no low pass filter because technically it does but it has an extra filter that cancels it. It's a self canceling low pass filter. Uh, it's very complex. Um, it captures tons of detail with with that and so for studio portraiture this is amazing I'm able to capture as much detail as possible and I'd rather capture all the detail I can in a studio and then smooth out the stuff I don't like later so for portraiture this is amazing because I can capture a headshot like this I can zoom in all the way and look at the the little details in an eye, but then also I can smooth out all the skin and just create a beautiful headshot. This was shot with a beauty dish. Here's another one. Here's another one. Check this guy out, dude. He's awesome. This is actually a very decent B camera for video. When you're out in the field and you've got another more capable video camera like an EOS R, or a 5D Mark III or Mark IV, you can actually rock this out easily in the field as a second B camera. It actually takes very decent video. The video, it has pretty much the same video options as the 5D Mark III. It has a tiny bit more detail than the 5D Mark III at 1080p. So you're gonna actually get a little bit more detail and sharpness and contrast out of this. And it's probably because it has that, like I said before, the self-canceling low-pass filter. Um, the things that it doesn't have though for video, no headphone jack, <gasps> no uncompressed HDMI out. Oh, Those no. two are pretty big ouch. Pretty big ouches. Hold on a second. Hmm. That's actually really good. For just b-roll being out in the field trying to capture what you can when you've got another great camera capturing all your a-roll your interviews or whatever this is very capable as a, um, a, a second camera the fourth reason why I like this camera in 2020 is it has the same autofocus as the 5d mark 3 and the 1dx 
in terms of 2020 standards, man, it's, it's pretty capable in terms of autofocus for um, being a quite older camera. This camera came out in 2015. Most people right now are focused on so many other cameras right now. Mirrorless, um, the brand new EOS R5. You're gonna see a lot more of these old cameras with the mirror box in them go away. But I don't think they're gonna go away forever. Um, especially when you, know, when you see things like film cameras still rocking out and those have made a comeback. I can see how, how the mirror box is gonna stay around for quite a while. Don't, don't say goodbye to this technology yet. The fifth reason why I like the Canon 5DSR in 2020 is its price. You could get one of these brand new right now on eBay for $12.99. Canon just announced that they are no longer going to be making these, so you're going to see less and less of these available. Um, but you'll, I'm sure for a while you'll still be able to get used ones through forums like Fred Miranda and some of the other buy and sell sections of different photography forums. So definitely check those out if you can't find one on eBay. So that's it. Those are my five reasons why Canon 5DSR is the camera for you in 2020. Especially if you're a still photographer and your focus and your art is mainly in creating amazing photography. I highly recommend checking this out. I've got a Canon EOS R that I'm shooting this video on right now, um, but I'm gonna be keeping this in my kit uh, because I really like it. I took it to India, and um, as you can see in some of these images I shot, it served me well. In terms of the B-roll I got for video, it served me well. If you like what you see here, I'm gonna do a lot more of these, so please check that out and subscribe to my channel. Um, in the meantime, I will talk to you guys later. So have a great rest of your day. Cheers.